Hi, everybody. We're going to work on our second drawing today um, that is a little bit more detailed. We're going to work on color and adding color to the flower that we drew yesterday. So all we need today is our colored pencils. We don't need our regular pencil. So go ahead and choose a color that you want your flower to be, so a main color. So I chose purple. I've also got some green in here for the stem and leaves, but we'll set those to the side. Um, I chose purple and I'll just use um, my colored pencil to show you a little bit of the shade of purple. It looks a little bit like blue on my um, on my computer camera, so keep in mind that that is purple. And then I also grabbed a magenta. Okay, these two together are going to be really similar. Um, one looks darker and one looks a little bit lighter. So I'm going to call this my monochromatic color scheme. Mono chromatic color scheme and we'll be using a monochromatic color scheme in our project tomorrow so I wanted you guys to go ahead and get familiar with it and um, get some blending practice in before our project tomorrow so what we want to do with these two colors since they're related is we want to have um, each petal be blended from dark in the middle out to light. So how do we do that? We're going to do that in two different ways. So one is I have my two different um, shades. So I've got my darker purple and my lighter pinkish purple. And I'm also going to use different pressure. So what I need to do first is get my lighter color. I'm going to start with a petal. I'm going to go all the way across this petal with really light pressure. So really light pressure. I'm not pushing very hard. Okay. And then I'm going to take my darker color and come in towards the bottom with light pressure. And I'm going to color over that. Let me zoom in so you guys can see my petals a little bit better. So I'm going to color over that magenta color. And then I'm going to ease up on my pressure as I go up the petal because I want to keep the top of the petal really light. Once I get that um, medium purple kind of in the middle there, then I'm going to go in with some dark and I'm going to push really hard here at the bottom of the petal. So where the petal meets the inside of the flower, I'm going to push really hard. And then I'm going to kind of fade that up. See how it's starting to get really dark and then medium and then light at the end of that petal. Okay, and I come back with my lighter color and I can kind of go over that and blend those colors together still keeping the end of the petal really, really light, that tip. Okay, so let's go over another one. Same way, so we're gonna go light on the whole petal, really light pressure with my lighter shade of purple. And then I'm gonna take my darker purple with medium to light pressure. So I'm not pushing super hard and I just want to blend that up, leaving the top of the petal the light pink purple. Then I'm going to come in and do my really dark down here at the bottom. Okay, what I find that I'm losing here is the outline of the flower. I'm going to go over that in black pen just so you see where my line is for the petal. You do not have to do this. You can add whatever you want to your petals as you finish, but I wanted to leave those lines in there so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So you can tell the outlines of those petals and you can see where I've blended. Um, kind of three shades of, of purple is what we're going towards. Kind of a dark, medium, and a light. So a light, I'm going to start a petal with very light pressure with my light magenta. Come in with my purple and do light to medium pressure, but leave the top of the petal light because I want to make sure I have that light color up there. We will use the same technique on our project. We're going to have a project tomorrow and Friday. All right, after I get that medium one in there, then I'm going to come in and do my really dark here at the base of the petal. 
So again, so you can see that. Okay. All right, I'll keep going here. One petal at a time, light pressure. The very tip of the petal is gonna be lighter and then the inside here towards the center of the flower is going to be darker. So I'm trying to get a nice fade in my color. It's gonna fade from dark to medium to light. Okay. There are many ways that you can shade. This is just one way um, for blending colors with colored pencil. This is just one way to do it. So if you have another um, way that you want to kind of utilize, as long as you get the colors from dark to medium to light, that's okay. Um, I just want you to see that variation in value. So you're going to watch the videos today on color and value. Um, value is talking about how light or dark a color is. So I just want you to be able to see that it goes from dark to medium to light. I'm going to do one more petal together with you and then let you continue to do your petals on your own and then have my finished product here for you in just a second. I also wanted to show you the um, how I was going to approach the stem too so I'll do that too before we get too far. Okay. I would take my light green. You had a light green and a dark green. That's what we got out at the beginning. Start with the light. You can always build up your color. So I always start with a light color with light pressure and then come back in and add my darker colors on top. I just think it looks more full and rich and less um, elementary. You know, we're trying to take our drawings up to um, a little bit higher level than our elementary drawing. So we want to add some layers of color. And then come in with my dark and just add just a little bit. We'll layer that on top. And I can do the same thing with the leaves. I can go dark to medium green up to light. You just want to not have candy corn like stripes. You want it to blend from dark to medium to light really smoothly. And that really just goes with um, many layers going back over it and changing the pressure like how hard you're pushing on your pencil. Okay, so here is our finished monochromatic color scheme flower. We will be using the same technique tomorrow when we work on our monochromatic graffiti name project, and I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Um, so go ahead and finish out coloring your flower and we'll show those in next week's um, small group meets. Have a good day, guys. Bye.